Today is Friday. Uh, this is what I got today. Actually, today turned out to be a pretty damn good day. I, I, I really thought it was going to be a bust because Fridays, I don't get out early. I go out late. I go out behind um, everyone. I don't get to sales till like 10, 30, 11 or something. Um, so everything good is generally gone unless you uh, something gets missed or passed up or somebody makes a mistake. So anyway, um, $75 this is part of it uh, but actually if you go to sales you know you can save money on stupid stuff like this and saving money is good you know anyway uh, I'll start with uh, the most exciting thing I found today and uh, out of this jewelry this is uh, we bought this jewelry at two sales this stuff was six dollars this is just a, a beaded choker these uh, are gold filled nice old earrings screw they have a really nice look um, Goldfield does scrap. Uh, these are probably Cherry Bakelite. And um, this says West Germany. S um, but these are for scarves. I, I thought these were from the 80s. These have like vinyl on them, so I don't know for sure. But that stuff's nonsense. Um, this is gold. And uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but the mark is not on the big ring, which is probably why they missed it. It's on one of these smaller rings, and it's very clear. That's, hmm. I don't think my camera's good enough to show it to you, but I believe it's on, it's, it's somewhere on, on this, the little ring. Yeah, I think that teeny little mark right there, I don't know if you can see it, but I can even see it. It says 14 karat gold, 1 4K right there. Um, I threw this on the scale. Uh, it weighed near an ounce, uh, about 30 grams near 30 grams. This should be, uh, I don't know, possibly around $900 for me, uh, maybe more. That's the best find of the day. And that's, that was on an estate sale, and that was like 12.30 in the afternoon. Six bucks. Um, this is the second best find. I don't know if you know much about pottery, but uh, one of the, the more rare and harder fi uh, potteries to find uh, would be Rookwood. Um, this is an example of Rookwood. As you see, it's got crazing in it. Like, you can see the lines there. But this is actually kind of normal for for uh, Rookwood pottery. Um, it's something that happens with it. You know? I don't see any chips or any physical damage. And um, this, the really sweet thing about this is it's, it's kind of a set. Uh, I believe these were hand-painted. So they might differ slightly. Um, I'll show this one first. Okay, now I'll show this one first. <clears throat> so, um, I don't know if you can see the craze lines, but there are some deep craze lines in it. Um, these we paid only $20 for, and I believe the reason we got these is because most people don't... I mean, unless you know what you're doing, you don't necessarily recognize this Rookwood uh, pottery mark. It almost looks like an SP, but it's actually a backwards R and a P. And this one is dated like XLV1, which would put it in 19... 46 and it's it's 2720 which I believe is the the blank size and then this this bizarre mark would be the artist that it looks kind of like um, a belt buckle um, and then 887 is probably the production number uh, this one's gray and it's just got really soft I'm not good on flowers. Maybe lilies beats me. Um, this is the other one. This one is 888. That's why I'm assuming it's production. There's that Rookwood mark again, 2720. Same mark. Kind of looks like a belt buckle or something like that. There's actually, you can go online and find out uh, who the artist is on these. Again, no physical damage. <sighs> uh, that was a piece of paper. Um, no physical damage that I can find uh, other than crazing. And as you can see, the, the crazing lines look like big chunky cracks in the pottery. But this is kind of normal. People that collect this stuff expect to see that. Now, Rookwood, you don't find much. I mean, Roseville is much easier to find. Um, just nice examples. Not stunning stuff, but I, I believe these are very easily worth between two and $300. Not 100% on those, right? But I think, especially because there's two of them, easily two to three. Don't know for sure. Um, 
last thing I found was just a bunch of CDs. I paid a buck a piece for these, and these are like best ofs. I bought a lot of classic music today. Uh, what the hell? Oh, Barbara. <laughs> I'm calling me Barbara. Uh, Sinatra, Greatest Hits, Elton John, Engelbert Humperdinck, Tony Bennett, Close to You, Carpenters. Um, Sinatra, Barry Manilow. I'm going to make this stuff, Steve Miller. I'm going to make this stuff um, $5 each. And then I'll sell them 4 2 for 7 3 for 10 like I do at the flea markets. Um, if you go with the names that people recognize, then you can sell CDs to regular people. Um, stuff like this has very little to no uh, value on Amazon. But if somebody wants, like, the original Natalie Wood version of West Side Story, if they had to go and buy it online, it would be at the very least $4 from Amazon because shipping, you know? So uh, if I sell it for $4, 3 for 10 it's even cheaper than you can get anywhere else. And uh, for me, this would generally be like a triple my profit thing. This is another soundtrack from Chicago. Since they were a dollar, I was like, who cares? Uh, Carousel, classic musical. Fred Astaire, Stepping Out. You don't see a lot of... You don't see Sammy Davis Jr. CDs too much in the field. Everybody likes uh, Bobby Darin, Ella Fitzgerald, Garfunkel, Streisand, Mel Torme, Sinatra. Like I said, these are classics. This is like... 50s, 60s, uh, into the 70s music, Johnny Mathis, Cher, and again, mostly best ofs, but th that's it, uh, no games today, tomorrow, I thought this weekend I was going to be screwed, because uh, there's a flea market I love to do, uh, it's, it's on Sunday, it's at Clifton, but uh, it's going to rain, and it's probably going to get cancelled, so my weekend I thought was tanked, I thought I was like, oh damn, I'm not going to make any money, uh, but thank you for this because now I'm pretty much covered for the weekend. I was debating on selling at the Meadowlands tomorrow. Uh, it will be open, but it's a shortened day. Uh, if you're going to go there, get there before noon. Uh, if you get there one or after, they're going to charge you to get in there. Um, since I found that I was going to do the Meadowlands, I didn't think I was going to have a great day. I didn't think it was going to be um, a lot of stuff, but I'm going to go there shop because somebody is holding something for me. Uh, and maybe I have something... Uh, uh, Victor, uh, I'm going to be there in the morning. Uh, call me, all right, personal message. <laughs> and uh, I have the games you wanted. Okay, uh, so I'll go to the Midlands. I don't believe I'm going to set up. I might change my mind in the last minute. I'm going to go there, run, uh, shop, run through, and then I'll go on to yard sale. So no, 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 more, no, sales for, no selling for me this weekend, I believe, unless I change my mind and do it tomorrow. But uh, that's it for today.